Rebels. Today is a very, very exciting video. I have Rebel as a little guest star today because this video is going to be a lot about him. I have a full video all about Rebel and Q&A involving him and all of that stuff. So if you guys want to watch that video, I will link it on the screen right here. But you guys, you guys, I got a Cuddle Clones package, and if you're not familiar with Cuddle Clones, basically they specialize in making plush versions of pets. So it's basically like a clone of your pet. They not only do dogs and kitties, but they also do horses and guinea pigs and other animals as well. And they offered me a coupon code to give you guys. So if you use this coupon code right here, you can get 10% off anything on their website. They also have slippers, jewelry such as necklaces and earrings. They have little figurines um, and all kinds of stuff. So definitely check that out if you are interested in getting your own little cuddle clone of your own pet. I really wanted to get one of these of Rebel because I just I love Rebel so much. He is just my baby boy and I want to be able to remember him a little bit. You know in the future I know that he's not going to live forever and just having this little cuddle clone will kind of help me cuddle him like now and even when he's long gone and as well as when I go on trips I can take it with me and cuddle it and just you are a yawning boy today are you tired are you so tired okay we'll get into the exciting stuff in a second okay Anyway, um, you could take it on trips with you and just kind of have your pet with you without them being physically there. And this is just really, really awesome. So I highly recommend these to anybody. Uh, so yeah, they did supply me with the coupon code so you guys can use. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into unboxing it because I'm just so excited. But before I actually get into that, uh, you guys are going to watch some footage of me placing my order through cuddle clones. Now with me, once I placed my order, they contacted me, I think it was a week later, with a rough draft of what Rebel looked like, and they asked me if I wanted any changes made. I did have them make a few changes. They made those changes and they got back to me within like a week or two, and then I finalized the changes, and then they sent my box out, and I got it literally within like two or three days. Um, you can select a uh, faster shipping on the website. It does cost more, unfortunately, but they do have multiple shipping options available. Usually the standard wait time, I think, is six to eight weeks, as far as I remember. And these Cuddle Clones, I think right now, they are still $199, so $199. And then obviously adding on whatever shipping you want. But I will go ahead and show you guys the process of me order placing my order and all of that stuff. And then I also have some footage of when they sent me the initial look of what Rebel looked like. So I'll insert that little reaction here. Okay, so I just put in my order for my cuddle clone of Rebel. Um, just a tip, if you are going to get this done, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of the process right now, but you will need to take a lot of photos of your pet. However, if your pet has passed away and you are getting a cuddle clone of a passed away pet, they can work with old photos or a minimal amount of photos um, to get your little cuddle clone created. Um, but if your pet is alive and well, uh, take plenty of photos. They have a lot of photo upload options and I'm going to go ahead and show them to you right now. So I ordered my cuddle clone already so I went through the whole process so I know how it works. So I'm going to point you guys in the direction of my iPad right here so you can kind of see the process and everything. Okay, so here is the Cuddle Clones website, and I am going through the process of uh, getting a plush, even though I already ordered one. I'm just going to show you guys the process. So you'll input your pet's name, birthday, uh, species, breed. Keep in mind that Cuddle Clones also does clones of other animals like rabbits and horses and guinea pigs and all kinds of that, not just dogs and cats. So what you do is you upload your little photos. So you have to upload the face, left side, right side, chest, backside, and tail. So you can kind of see 
that these are the photos that I have uploaded. And then you proceed to specifics. And right here, you can make it so where just one ear is up, one ear is down, uh, both ears are up, both ears are down, etc. And then you can change the eye colors on each eye. So like the left side might be blue, whereas the right side is yellow and things like that. But rebels are both brown. And then also tail, you can select what position you want the tail to be. They do make the clones um, laying down, sitting, or standing. And if your animal itself lays or stands in a certain position and you want it to be translated into the plush, you can submit that as a request in the little notes section. So then you do proceed to extras, and this is where I would type in things like he has one pink toe on his left front paw, all other toes and paw pads are black, and then I would insert the photo, which you can see right here. This is a black toe, black toe, black toe, black toe, black paw pad, but his pink toe is right there. Um, so that is where you would upload that. And then like right here, he has a snaggle tooth, so I inputted that. And then right here, I actually created this photo and it shows where those characteristics are at. Then if you click next, oh yeah, this right here, you can select the uh, mouth. Uh, so closed with tongue, no tongue, uh, open with tongue then you can select the position. So if you want them sitting, standing, or laying down. And then notes. This is where you would type out um, anything extra specific that you want included. So for example, if your dog had a little white mark right here, and that was like your favorite thing about them, you would just type it in and say, please do not forget white mark on right side of face, da 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 Just like all the extra specifics. Or that's where you would also type in if you wanted the uh, pet to be standing or sitting in a specific position. And then you click next, and it is added to your cart. And then you can add additional things. They also offer earrings, necklaces, ornaments, figurines, all kinds of stuff like that. But then you just click continue, and it is added to your cart. So because Cuddle Clones is actually working with me, they sent me an email and said that they are rushing my order, and that I will receive an email from them in about two weeks with, the, with photos of the plush for review and then they will have it sent off to me. I kind of was looking forward to like blind box unboxing it, like not knowing what it looked like and unboxing it on my channel, but I'll go ahead and film in two weeks whenever I get that email. I'll film my reaction to the photos, but I probably won't show the actual photos until you guys see the unboxing. Anyway, yeah, so I just ordered my cut clone and in about two weeks they're going to contact me with the results and have it sent to me and I'm so excited! Okay, so it's been almost two weeks, uh, like a day or two shorter, and the company emailed me and they said, hope everything is well. This link will take you to your first version of Rebel. We would love to know what you think of him and if there are any changes that you think that we can make to get him closer to the real thing. And they said that two of the things that they see that think could be better are his ears are sticking out a little bit too far and the right back leg coloring is off and needs to be more white higher. And then it says, looking forward to your thoughts. So here we go. I'm gonna click on it. This link will take you. Oh, it takes me to Dropbox. Let me sign into Dropbox. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at him. Did they get a snaggle tooth? They did. <laughs> they got a snaggle tooth. The most important thing. Oh my gosh. Yes, his ears are definitely too far out. His tail is so cute. They even got the white on his back. Oh my gosh. How cute. <laughs> now show me his, oh there, there, there's his pink paw. And I think they actually did the wrong paw pink. So I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. But overall, oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks pretty dang close. 
Oh, how freaking cute. So I'm going to tell them to make these changes and then they'll make the changes and then he will be sent to me. But you guys saw like my first initial reaction of this. So here is the box. It says Cuddle Clones on it. The website is just cuddleclones.com. I will link it in the description box below as well as my coupon code. All right. So here we go. I do know what he looks like because they have sent me um, kind of photos and stuff, but I expect it to be a lot better in person. His hair has grown out a little bit since I took his photos to be submitted, but what I did is I waited a certain like time period after he got his hair cut to where I think he looks the cutest uh, after his hair has been cut and everything and it's grown out for like a month. Uh, that's usually when he looks his cutest and so that's when I took all of the photos and had them submitted. So this won't look exactly like him as he is right this minute because his hair has grown out a little bit since the order was placed. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I see the fur. Come here, Rebel. I want you to be in the shot. Come here. Oh my gosh, and it's just like the same size as him too. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I will insert a photo of Rebel himself right here. These are the pictures that I submitted, which you guys saw a minute ago in the little ordering process footage. But these are the pictures that I submitted. So you can see right here, so you have something to compare it to. And of course, I'll do some side-by-sides. But here we go. Oh my gosh, they gave him a little collar. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like almost the exact size as him. <laughs> Wait, is it a little collar? Oh no, it's like a little ribbon that you can use as a collar. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys see this? <laughs> it's Rebel. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> Look at this is you. <laughs> Look. That's you. It's you, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is almost the exact size as him. His fur needs brushed a little bit. It got a little matted in shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and set this box over here. Look, look at you. <laughs> it's got a clone. <laughs> He's all over it. He's like, what is this? So as you can see, he's grown out quite a bit since I sent in the photos. I do kind of wish, now that I'm actually seeing him in person, that his head was just like kind of straight on rather than looking up. But I did tell them that I wanted him to be made exactly like the photos that I submitted. So that is perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. So I'm going to share with you guys some specifications that I shared like while checking out and everything so obviously i wanted his tail floofy and his this is so soft and this is so good it's almost like looking at him this is so amazing oh my gosh okay so here's his floofy tail now rebel usually has oh the little tag oh my god it says his name that is so precious Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so his booty is actually like half black, half white. So they did his little booty like half black and half white and it turned out perfect. I absolutely love that. Then on the bottom here, he has one pink toe. And when you are looking at him, it is his right paw and it is the second toe in, like the ring finger kind of. So they got his little pink toe on the bottom right here and then you could see there's the other paw. But the pink toe is on there, so that is perfect. And you guys, my favorite part about this whole entire thing is you guys know, if you don't follow me on like my Instagram and stuff like that, I call Rebel Snaggletooth because he has one tooth that always sticks out and it's just the cutest thing ever but I made sure 100% that they incorporated the little snaggle tooth right here. So he has a little tooth sticking out of his face. <laughs> and it is just so cute. And his eyes are dark brown. And this is just so 
perfect. I love how like it's so close to his normal like size of him that that is so cool. So, oh my gosh. And then if I put his collar on him, here, give me your collar. So I I'm gonna get the collar. Oh my gosh, and the collar fits perfectly like around his neck too. It's almost the same size as him. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, look, it's my little rebel. <laughs> look at you. Isn't that funny? Oh, that's funny. Okay, you can have your collar back. Come here. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. I highly, highly, highly recommend Cuddle Clones. They were amazing to work with. Oh my gosh, and his little keyhole on his back. He has a little spot. I totally forgot about this. He has a little white spot right here in, in the bottom of his back, like on the lower part of his back. And they put that little spot in there. And that is so good. It's so perfect. Like, I'm so impressed with how amazing he looks. <gasps> Look at my little Rebo. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. Let me know if you think this is something cool or if it's creepy. See, Alan, he thinks this is kind of creepy because it kind of looks like taxidermy in a way because it's like so realistic. But I think it's awesome to be able to have your baby even after like they pass or just taking them on long car trips that maybe they can't go with you on and things like that so just to be able to have him all the time like this in this little cuddly form he's not very like cuddly his legs are very stiff i don't think oh they are bendable i don't know if that's like intentional i don't know if they're supposed to be bendable but they bend so that's pretty cool um so you could probably put him in like little positions <laughs> look at his little legs sticking out how cute is that um but he, he isn't very like squishy he's not like he doesn't like just kind of flop he's not a very cuddly stuffed animal so it's not one to like sleep with all of the time because he's not super like soft and squishy but to just have on display and just to carry with you is so so precious so thank you so much cuddle clones for this this really means like so 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 much to me and thank you cuddle clones for supplying me with the coupon code that again you guys can use and get 10 percent off anything on their website and yeah with that I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And Rebel does have his own Instagram account. He doesn't have a lot of followers on there. So I will put it right here. Go give him some love. It's just Rebel the Shisu on Instagram. And he needs more followers. So go give him some love. And with that, we are going to go ahead and go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long. Stay strong. Stay true. And be you. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Hey, is that your clone? Do you have a friend? Do you love him? Can you give him kisses? Can you give him kisses right here on his snoot? <laughs> like, no, I'm just going to sniff him. Oh, here, let's do the traditional doggy butt sniff. How about that? Sniff his butt. Sniff his butt. Oh, you're just going to sniff him. Okay, good job. Hey, I love you. You're my good boy. <laughs> and of course, there's that little snaggletooth, huh? My little snaggletooth boy. <laughs>